So um, the first thing is, you know, in terms of the really deep hidden history of humanity in the long-term past, there, there was a great crisis that happened on our planet a very, very long time ago. And it's really the seed point for everything that we know on the earth. And that was called the crisis of individuation. And millions of years ago, as part of the divine plan for earth, when there was a certain readiness for, on the part of the animal forms, the apes that were present on the planet that, that long time ago, highly evolved beings from Venus entered into the life of earth. And they came to give this great spiritual evolutionary gift of the spark of self-awareness to those ape-like forms that were on the earth way back. And this was done by implanting the seed spark of self-consciousness within the brain and DNA of those beings, those ape-like beings, and so that they would begin to evolve and, and awaken using that self-conscious spark. Not all of the beings who went through that process survived, but those who were able to make the adjustment did. Ultimately, quite some time later, those beings from Venus also incarnated into those evolving forms, you know, early, very, very proto-human forms, and took on the bodies and interbred with them to, in order to bring their DNA and their, their consciousness more fully into these proto-humans. This was an incredible sacrifice on the part of these higher beings. Begin to imagine if you're a being from Venus, and you come in and occupy an, um, almost like a primitive, very, very primitive human body. And they, for that reason, those beings are called the lords of sacrifice. And if we can think of any sacrifice we might make, this was something beyond anything. These beings then became the seeds of the human race. The, and, and it was only beings from Venus who were involved at this very early stage. Millions of, and they went on to their evolution process, and millions of years later, other beings came to Earth and implanted DNA, and in some cases interbred with these beings as well. And these included beings from Sirius, from Arcturus, and other, other places. There was also the Anunnaki, as everyone knows, who were here, on Earth to colonize it and mine the gold to try to save their atmosphere. And one of the names for their planet was Nibiru, Nibiru, however you say it. That's, that's also was true. That is what I got as being real. There were also a group of aliens that came to the Earth while the Anunnaki were here. They were a reptilian group, basically very predatory. And they were able to enter into the Earth because there was like a time-space wormhole anomaly where they were able to enter into the Earth and become in, engaged with Earth and what was going on here. Now, there are guardians around our Earth, and there were at that time as well, who watch over the Earth and protect it from really serious invasion of a negative type. This, so that, that the invasion by these reptilians was not part of the plan for the Earth. But at the time this happened, there was a huge debate at higher levels because our Earth is also governed by the solar system and the solar council. And there was a huge debate at the solar systemic level about whether or not these beings were to be removed from the Earth or allowed to stay and become part of our human evolution. And the decision was made to allow them to stay because their presence here would help them, help humanity by presenting us with a choice between the path of greed, darkness, and selfishness, or the path of light, love, and, sh and, and service to all, which the spiritual masters and all those great teachers of humanity, the Buddha, the Christ, and all of them who have come, explained that choice to us and, allow, and gave us the tools and the, and the direction we could go to be on that path of light. So ever since that time, humanity has been faced with the choice of between choosing the path of darkness and selfishness or the path of light and sharing and love. And humanity, through those choices, learns 
the karma from the karma of those choices learns why the path of light and love is better and of a better result for themselves and everyone else than the path of darkness and selfishness. And that is the choice we have all been using through our whole evolutionary history to fulfill and to achieve our evolution. Because we learn from the mistakes, we, we learn why light and love is better than darkness and greed, and we, we eventually move forward. This, of course, happens over many lifetimes. It is not a single lifetime learning process. It, the lessons are learned over many, many different lifetimes.